In this session, you're going to learn how to share files with others through Google Drive. This is an essential feature provided by Google, and it helps you share learning resources like PDF files, presentations, and documents with others. It also helps you work collaboratively with them. For example, if you're working with a group of students on a project, you can share documents with them through Google Drive. This helps you guide them as they go about on their work and keep track of their progress. Google Drive allows you to share created or uploaded resources with one or more individuals. Now, let us take a look at the steps for sharing these resources, that is files or folders with others. For sharing file on Google Drive, right click on the file. A box will appear. Click on share. A dialog box will open. Type the name of an individual you wish to share your file with or you can also type the email address. Click on drop down arrow to select the right to be allotted to that person. You can allow the person to edit the file or to add comments or you can just allow viewing rights. Click on send. So in the same manner, you can share a file or folder with one or many individuals. You can also share your files or folders by using action buttons. Action buttons appear once you select any file or folder. Click on share for sharing selected file with others. Sharing of the file can be done even after opening the file. Share button appears at the right hand corner of the file. Click on it to proceed with the sharing. Advanced settings allows you to limit the group of people with whom you can share any file or folder. Let's take a quick look at it. Click on Advanced to open Sharing Settings. To reset the privacy settings, click on Change. A box with three sharing settings will open. You can choose to share your file with a large group of people by selecting either of the first two options. This will make the file public where anyone can find and access it without signing in to Google account. If you select third option, then you will be able to share file only with specific people and they need to sign in with a Google account in order to view or edit the shared file. Sharing of any specific file or folder can be revoked by deleting that person's name from the list. Now that you've learned how to share files in Google Drive, you might be wondering how you can implement this feature in the teaching learning process. Let me give you a few examples. Once you've finished a topic with your students, you can ask them to create a mind map or a concept map using Google Drive. This helps you give them feedback at your own convenience and the students don't waste too much time on their rework. 
You can also use Google Drive when you're working with your colleagues to create teaching material and when you're writing research papers with your co-authors. You can also use Google Form for any kind of data collection work, which makes the process very simple and less tedious. So as you have seen, uh, sharing with others helps you connect with them to generate knowledge. And at the same time, it makes the process less laborious and more organized.